In a patient presenting with abdominal pain, signs of appendicitis can be seen quickly at the bedside and expedite treatment pathways. And then with a high enough quality image and a bit of good luck, identifying a normal appendix can effectively rule out the disease. To do this scan, you need a high quality curvilinear transducer. Here I am on superficial preset. And I'm going to take the indicator towards the patient right side, and I'm going to start at the level of the patient's umbilicus in a transverse orientation with the indicator to the patient's right. I'm going to apply some gentle pressure, and I'm going to slide that transducer off to the patient's right until I find the so-called dirty shadowing of the colon. Above and superficial, I can see the abdominal wall musculature. I'm going to slide the transducer down towards the patient's feet until that dirty shadowing ends, signifying I've reached the level of the cecum. Once I'm there, I can go back up into the abdomen, and with a bit of luck and exploration, I'm going to try and identify the structure most consistent with the appendix. It can be tricky to find attached to the cecum, but once you've identified a small, blind-ended structure, here measuring only a couple millimeters in thickness, you can see why getting such a high-quality image is so important to really effectively identify a normal, healthy appendix. But once I have identified the appendix, I can feel confident that I've essentially ruled out the disease.